Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my new little kitty cat. I got him when he was just a baby. Him and another one, but he's sleeping. All right guys, so this video is going to be where have I been? What's been happening to me? All right, <clears throat> um, by the title, no, no kitty. By the title, you'll see I found a lump in my neck, which I did, I found a lump. And I also, um, let me just kind of run down the things, like the shortest to the lump of my neck. Like I'm gonna do the shortest um, things that's been going on. Okay, first thing is, I wanna tell everybody, I did get two new kitties, and this is one. And I have a little gray one over there, and they were really tiny when I got them. Obviously they're getting really big now. Um, <laughs> they're almost full grown now. All right, so that's the first thing. Second, I got a new truck. I got a Tahoe, um, a Chevy Tahoe. I absolutely love, love, love my new truck. Um, I went on vacation for two weeks with my husband, myself, our three boys, and my mom and my sister. We ended up, we live in Arizona, we ended up going to California. We saw um, Pier 39, Fisherman's Wharf area, that was amazing. And we also saw the Golden Gate Bridge, which I absolutely loved. So did all my kids, they thought it was amazing. Um, we drove to Washington to go to Seattle. So we saw the Space Needle, which was amazing. And we spent the day there at the, uh, basically where like the very first Starbucks is. So that was totally cool. And then we drove through Idaho. There wasn't really much going on there. Then we went to Montana and, wait, I forgot to say Oregon. Oh, wait, did I say Oregon? We went to Oregon. So from California to Oregon and it was amazing. I loved all the greenery. I wanna go back. As a matter of fact, I want to relocate there. So I'm kind of working on my husband trying to move. Um, if he would move, I loved it. We also went to the Oregon Zoo, which was amazing. And we went to that little Tillamook um, factory that they have and then the beach, it was just fantastic. And then, so from there we went to Seattle, and then over to Idaho. They really didn't have anything in Idaho. And then in Montana, we went to Yellowstone um, in Montana and in Wyoming. So we started off in Montana, went through Wyoming, and Yellowstone's huge, and it was amazing. It was gorgeous, and we saw, we saw the geysers in Yellowstone, and the Old Faithful, that was amazing. That was super cool. And then um, we went to through Utah, which I, the part of Utah I saw, I didn't really care for. And then um, when we got here back home in Arizona, we ended up going to the Grand Canyon. That was amazing. Um, I The whole time I've lived here, I've never been to the Grand Canyon and that was just truly amazing. The best part is they had some squirrels that were like very tamed. They were, you know, used to people or whatever. And the cutest part was, is I had a, a water bottle and I put it up to the squirrel and he like tilted it to take a drink. And I was like, that is the cutest thing. I got it on camera too. So it's super cute. Um, I love that. All right, so that's that. And then when we got back from vacation, a few days later, we ended up buying the new truck, the Tahoe. I think I just said that. I think I said that I got a new car. That's what I got, a Chevy Tahoe. And then, um, well, meanwhile, I did have a lump in my neck. As you guys can see, it's more on this side. And it's not like I have a huge, hold on. It's not like I have a huge neck anyways. Like, you know, for being like a really big girl, it's not like it's huge, but it's more bigger on this side. And it was really, really big right here. Like right in the front. So, um, I went to the doctor to see what was going on and I couldn't get in to the doctor's office for probably about three weeks and during that time it's not like I want to pick up and film and because you know my mind's like somewhere else so I was trying to really keep my mind occupied so I was just like watching a lot of TV and uh, doing a lot of stuff with my kids and going on vacation and stuff like that and I uh, just was like you know what I'm gonna pray about it and whatever happens happens I you know worrying does absolutely nothing it's no waste of emotion and I know it's like only like 
human to worry, but I was trying my hardest just to give it to God and just forget about it. But um, the time came where I had to go to the doctor to see what the heck's going on. So I went and they ended up, the doctor told me, I don't know. Let's go get some blood tests and you're going to have to sign, get, go see a, um, and, and I might uh, totally bust this name, but uh, an endocrinologist, basically a specialist. So I had to go see him, but meanwhile I went and got my blood test and um, those came up. Oh, he also sent me, so he sent me to get a an ultrasound. So I had to do an ultrasound on my neck. Then I had to set up an appointment with the endocrinologist. And basically my thyroid, it is enlarged. It's not a goiter, um, it's not cancerous, and I don't have like any lumps on my like nodules or anything. So it's just an enlarged thyroid. So um, that's what was happening. So then when I went and I saw the specialist to see if I had to have surgery or not, he uh, basically put me on medication which um, uh, they have like a Synthroid and like um, I guess like the knockoff brand it would be it's like level of Throxin or level of Throxin or something like that and you guys could probably google it but that's what he put me on and so uh, he says we're gonna see if that you know shrinks your thyroid and see what it does in three months time and then uh, in three months time I have to go back for more blood work and basically see where we're at with my thyroid. So that's what it was. The lump in my neck was an enlarged thyroid and it felt huge some days, it was weird. I'd put my head back like this and some days my neck felt like, like a golf ball was in there. And then some mornings I'd get up and I'm like, no, it's gone, it's gone. And I guess the, the specialist said it could be just like the amount of blood, blood the amount of blood flow that's getting to it like if I'm in laying position the blood co you know blood flow I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that word the blood flow could be getting you know to it very easily and then if I'm setting up or I have a like you know you know when you sleep you do something like this or whatever it could you know kind of not be cutting it off but you don't get as much blood flow to it so he said that it could be the case of why I'm feeling it and why you know, some mornings I feel it and it like it's gone and the other ones, it's like the next day it's like bigger than ever. So that's what that's all about. Um, so, I mean, it's not the greatest news, but it's certainly not the worst. Um, with that being said, I said, you know, I was trying to lose weight a few months back. I lost 10 pounds successfully, really quickly. Like in two weeks I lost 10 pounds, which was amazing. And I said, but the only thing is, is that I was trying to lose more weight and it's like it wasn't happening. It was like in like five ounces or something, not even, not even a pound in like a week or two. And he said that with my underactive thyroid and what I have going on, it's basically nearly impossible to lose the weight. The 10 pounds, he never said it was like water weight or anything like that, but he said with the first 10 pounds, just cause you know, I'm bigger, that came off but trying to lose pretty much more than that it's next to impossible so with this medicine it's supposed to make it easier to lose weight however one of the side effects of the medicine is weight gain it makes you starving this medicine is like i've never been hungrier in my life i have just been so hungry and i gained 10 pounds I gained the 10 pounds that I lost, first of all. I gained that right back. And then I gained 10 more pounds. Yeah, isn't that a fine how do you do? So I'm like, this medicine kind of contradicts itself. It allows you, it helps you to kind of lose weight, but it increases your appetite. That's what it does, it increases your appetite. So, unless I am like eating constant, like super healthy stuff, I'm gonna be gaining some mad weight with this medicine and right now it's like I have a I, I slept wrong and I have like a crick in my neck back here so I'm also dealing with a crick in the neck but that you know it's temporary hopefully <laughs> um, anyways but that's what's going on and I I'm not exactly sure I mean I don't know 
I just don't know. So anyways, I'm going to try to make healthier meals and I wanna drop some weight. I'm tired of toting this weight around, plus my battery's about to die. But I wanted to tell you guys really quick, if you've come from, you know, my videos of losing weight or decorating or, you know, being the prepper, you know, for the coronavirus, whatever is going on, I mean, here's the deal. The channel, The Mommy Life, I'm a mommy of three boys, so I, I like to decorate, I like to do DIYs, I like to vlog when I can, I guess, and I like to make videos and stuff like that, but they're not all just gonna be cleaning videos or decorating videos or prepping videos. So if you come from, you know, one of, well, my prepping video and you're like, oh, I wanna see only prepping videos, this channel's not that. If you come from just cleaning videos, my channel's not gonna be just that. It's gonna be a mix of everything, and that's, you know, the way I like it, and unfortunately for my channel, it's so slow growing. I mean, I did finally reach 2,000 subs, which I am totally pumped about. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, by the way. Thank you. Um, but I just want to let you know that if you've come from a prepping video or a cleaning video or a weight loss video, whatever it is, I'm still going to try to do everything into my channel. I don't want to make a whole bunch of dis different channels just for one subject, if you know what I mean. Like just cleaning videos or just prepping videos. I just want to mix it all together because a mom mixes everything together. You know what I mean? Whatever works for her family, that's what she gets done. So that's what I want to tell you guys my channel's going to be. The next few um, videos, I'm sure one of them's going to be taking my kids to SeaWorld before they go to school, taking them to SeaWorld in the beach. And so I'm going to do like a get ready with me, pack with me, stuff like that, and at SeaWorld. And then cooking videos, just like cook and chit chat, basically. And I'm going to try not to really even do music, just more like talking through them. So it's less editing and stuff like that because my editing software paid a hundred dollars for it and I don't even know how to use it my edits are so bad so anyways guys that's what I want to tell you I'm gonna go ahead and get off now because my battery is blinking of course so it's gonna hang up on me any moment now so guys thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys want to subscribe and you guys aren't subscribed already feel free to and no feelings hurt if you're like hey I came from you know a different video and I, this is not what I thought it was, go ahead and unsubscribe, no feelings hurt either. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.